Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, John Megacycle here, another episode and another season of Deadlock 2 Shrine Wars. Whew, we've had a couple of seasons here with Deadlock, and it's been a lot of fun to get back to this game. I've I've really missed it, and it's great to crack it open, get a little playing in, and get a couple seasons out for you guys. So I think this is going to be the last season, uh, unless I hear otherwise, unless you guys want another one. Uh, but we've put in some solid time here, I've been pretty happy with how these episodes have turned out. And we're just going to kick this off. Another random scenario here. We've played, let's see, the Tarth, the Uva Mosk, the Humans. We've played on Fair Fight. And the last one we played on was on Boosted Difficulty Status. We're going to go again. Seven players. Conquest Victory Conditions. Supercharged. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave Allow Alliances. We're going to shut off Fast Production. We're going to leave it just like this. We probably are not going to win. Every single time I play Supercharge, the AI has Holocaust Cannons very quickly. I, I can't give you a turn time, but very quickly. That's the most powerful land unit in the game is a Holocaust Cannon, and that's been ridiculous. So, we're going to give this a go. I don't, I don't know if we're going to win. Uh, we'll go for Medium Planet. So let's see, we've already played as a human. The Tarth and the Uva Mosque. Let's see here. Raylu are interesting psychics. The Mog are tech juggernauts. The Sith are... Well, they're just the Sith. I think we're going to play as the Chit Chit. And the reason why I want to go for them is their scouts can steal resources. Since our enemy is going to be able to amass resources and technology quickly, we want to take that advantage away when we can and see if we can steal some good stuff. So let's go ahead and take the Chit Chit. Okay, well we don't have a choice, but this is what I kind of wanted anyway. This gives us our own area to start off, which is perfect. Our drones are eager, Hive Imperius. The Hive awaits your plans. Oh yeah. I bring a message from the Veil Lord. Really? Threats already? Are you already mad at me? They're all already furious. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> It's not going to take more than one turn for them to forge alliances. So let's see what we got here. Food, food, good lumber reserves here. Um, yeah, this is going to just get nifty very quickly. So we're going to need, as a basis for our military, we're going to need Navy. Navy is going to be the, the best thing we can work with. So let's get our basics up. We're going to hit up a farm right away as we always do and we will get another housing unit even though the chit chit are good at housing we are currently at 400 of a thousand normally these small housing complexes are only worth 500 so that's good to know let's go ahead and skip got a turn. minute then give this a glance okay more threats i don't approve of no alliances yet so that's great i guess i mean whatever so electricity we got some eights and that's all we have. Oh gosh, this is going to be depressing already. Let's... Nope, hey. Technology is probably going to be the hardest thing we are going to have to deal with. And I say that because everyone else... Oh, that's the wrong freaking thing. There we go. Everyone else is supercharged, which means they have severe production bonuses, some pretty amazing resource collection rates, economy, industry, everything is through the roof. Alright, we usually do this, dink. Dink, 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 dink. And then for level 3, that. And then we revisit it after that. Um, this will give us a good tech baseline. This will get us to the tech center, tech lab. The tech lab as soon as we can. And then it'll be able to spill through, and that'll greatly Words increase... Words from Tarth! Oh, gosh, okay, thank you. It'll greatly increase our rate of tech. Okay, one turn. Yeah, I don't want any lumber here. However, here... Oh, it's still terrible. Okay. We'll have to deal with that later. 
Let me guess. Yeah, power reserves are crap. But, since the chit chit multiply quickly, we'll hopefully be able to max out our production of a bunch of these structures very quickly. And let's see. Yeah, let's just get you there. Oh, these guys do multiply quickly. Holy crap. Wow, look at that. That's that's pretty insane. It's been quite a while since I played as a chit chit, so this is actually a nice trip to jeez. You guys don't get bored quickly. Okay, I already want to worry about metal. Got some okay metal reserves there. Not not great metal reserves there. Okay, so we're going to put our first surface mine right there. That way we'll be able to use the Endurium. Hey, I got it right on the first try. Endurium. Uh, we'll be able to maximize on that pretty quick. That's right. I remember Chit Chit are terrible at research. Oh, that means the stuff that would normally take four turns is going to take like 50 turns. All right, 50 turns is a bit dramatic, but I think you know what I mean. Oh, that puts us at a terrible disadvantage, but that's okay. It's alright, I'm not going to cry out too hard. I do want that surface mine up as soon as possible. Okay, let's see, can we get some... We do need lumber, I mean, we're already out. So there's that. Okay. Okay, so one. Yep, thank you. Two, three, four. All right. I would almost like a seaport immediately if we can do it. Yep, shipyard. That's what I meant. And stick that right there. You can go there. If we can, I know we can't do colonization, but maybe if we can just start to look around and see what these guys are up to, that'd give us a better idea of what we're up against. Okay, how many people are just sitting here? Three? Holy cow. Really hope I don't run into morale problems, because that could totally be a problem. Really? How many are in here now? Two more? Ugh. Okay, sea transport. Let's get one. Is that all I can afford? I think I'm tapped out of metal, that's the problem. <laughs> and, very soon, I'm going to be tapped out of energy, and I don't have enough wood, and... Issue time! Hmm, 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 I already don't like how this is turning out. We've been playing for 17 turns, and I already, I already don't like it. 38... Ugh, it's awful. Can we do something like this? Okay, so here's the math on research. This obviously takes, I'd say, 50 research points. We're producing 38, but research doesn't spill over. So it's important we either get this as close to 50 as we can, or as close to 25 as we can. And this is going to be fine, and we'll be producing... It'll take two turns, which it would have been if we had it like this anyhow, but we'll be producing six electrical components in that time, so that's good because tech components are very important for certain military units, certain structures, and that sort of a thing. So I'm fine with that. I still don't have enough for a power plant, and I am hemorrhaging energy. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. That's full. Everyone out of the pool. Time to get some money reserves. If we can't do anything else, we got to get money. Okay. So, let's do a little mental math here. And by mental math, I mean we're going to cheat. 25 tons of iron. We can build a new power plant next turn. There it is. There that is. Okay. Got a good income going, which is good. Oh yeah, I usually go through the territories and I forgot to. Uh, Miracle Trees, Ocean of Horrors, Gulf of Beaches, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. 
do 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 Oh, there it is. Okay. Gulf of Beaches, Yojoko Sea, Oyster Depths, Sith Landing, Urgurgur Plains, Bestial Plains, Happy Badlands, Dunes of the Missing Cam, Relu Landing. That's a weird one. That's strange. <laughs> Swamp of Thorns, Game of Thrones, whatever. Wasteland number two, Sky Step Hills, Human Landing, Arga Leaf Glen. That's neat. Ockley Desert, Bog Rayma, Coldwater Gulf, and then the Calm Sea, the Pie Ocean, Oyster Depths. Fantastic. <laughs> Everyone's accounted for. What are we doing for energy here? Oh, we have some nines. Oh, sweet. Excuse me. Going to be absolutely bankrupt on energy, which is fantastic. We don't have three turns, so we're going to shut you off. And can we get another power plant here that would make it worthwhile? And the answer is no. We have seven. That sucks. But we have some nines here. So let's snag that nine. It's mostly out of the way. And I'm sure we have a bunch of idle people. We have five. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this. That's going to increase our growth because we'll have a larger population base, but more importantly, we'll be able to get some of these important structures online faster. So more lumber, because that's a very important commodity this early on. And once we get some of these other structures complete, we're definitely going to need a factory, and we're going to need to research metallurgy so we can start turning this iron into steel. Definitely critical. We have three more guys. That's ridiculous. That's full now. Okay, let's get that going. Yeah, I don't know what to do with all you guys. This is a lot to handle. Do I need to build another surface mine? How, how was metal here? 14, 14, 11. 14, 14, 14, 13 rather it to be here and let's shuffle board three more dudes over dink 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 it, it, to be absolutely honest if we make it to turn 50 I'll be happy what do you guys got okay nothing too crazy yet nothing too crazy yet if I could really get this boat really into someone's brain with some fusion cannons to get started that would be great um, because the rate of increase for their tech just goes from zero to the roof. Now let's see. Nope, we're still in tech one, so let's go that way. Hmm. We're already low on food. And since I've already dubbed the island behind us, or the landmass behind us as kind of our military manufacture base, we're going to deal with this as farmland. And I really need another house here. Let's get that done, shall we? Thank you, thank you. And we need another house here. Thank you, thank you. 16, 11. Put that at an even 30 income. That's good. That's good. That's pretty solid. Once we get a factory built, we'll actually be able to turn that into not nothing. Tech lab lasers. Yeah, not, not a ton of stuff right off the bat. I'm going to get my navy tucked behind in the ocean of horrors. <laughs> that makes you feel good, doesn't it? It makes me feel great. Okay, for culture, let's just dump one or two guys here. Yeah, that'll cut it. Perfect. Farm will be done in one turn. I really am starting to realize that I need antimatter containment a lot faster than I would have hoped. Uh, that's an okay thing because that's one of the major things we're going to go to once we finish up tech 2 but that's pretty bad considering we're not producing hardly as much energy as we should and I really need all the spare workers I can get to work on other projects oh man the food supply here isn't great either
All right, well, I am going to need a culture center here, considering I don't have a city center. And you guys just keep giving me problems. If it takes any more than three workers, we will build a museum here, which is the upgrade of a culture center, because that produces significantly more culture than what the city center could. Just dump all in there. And one, two, three, and four. And this will be upgraded immediately. Oh gosh, I'm already sweating bullets and I haven't even been attacked yet. Is that is that bad? <laughs> Is it bad that I'm that nervous already? Put you back there. Yeah, synthetic fertilizer is going to be huge. And okay, so 50,000 is still the cap regardless of the race. I was wondering if 50,000 is the normal cap and the chit chit because of how they do their housing um, would have more capacity, but I guess not. Is it four? Yeah, it's four. And we've already got morale issues, so let's crank that back. The, uh, the Chit Chit have significantly less problems with overpopulation. That's based on how they do their housing. As we noticed, the housing set is double. So these that no normally do 500 do 1,000. These do 2,000. You kind of get the idea. They're an insectoid kind of a race. So they're used to you know living with each other, being next to each other. I mean, that's a normal thing. So that's kind of why they don't have the normal negatives of other races being compact with each other. Okay, so that turns that into 10 steel. I can live with that for a while. I'm not super thrilled about it, but I can live with that for a while. Until we get automated factories. Now, it's time for this to happen. Now, we can just barely live three turns. So let's go like that. Now that we can do three turns. I'm trying to optimize this out a bit. Yep. So 4 times 3 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, so I think 138 if I did the math right. So if we have no more population growth, we'll be fine. But we're going to have population growth. That's just what's going to happen. But I'm okay with that. Uh, in three turns, we should be able to catch back up. So let's see here. I've got a bunch of people not doing stuff. I'd love to do another tech lab, but... That's going to tap me out of electrics. Hmm. And what can we get here? Eight, nine, eight. Yeah, we have to stay above on energy. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I can't even work with this. I'm going to be stuck in tech two, not even just because of technology. It's because I don't have enough electricity to power every freaking thing. Hmm. Well, there's not a whole lot I can do without proper food, so we've got to wait until some of this stuff upgrades. And gets online, for that matter. Yeah, let's get this stuff up to date, up to date. And that should be ready pretty soon here. Yep, one more turn. 